What up, comic book fam? Happy new comic book day, December 8th, 2021. The 10 book limit got thrown out the window for the second week in a row. There was just too much stuff that I wanted and there were some multiple copies that I had to get, so let's get right into it. Starting off with DC, as always, we've got Superman Son of Cal L 2021 annual. I recently caught up with uh, Son of a Cal L number five and I'm enjoying the story. I'm interested in this relationship he's building with this other character, Jay. We got the big kiss in the last issue, which I thought was a great one panel shot. So enjoying the art, enjoying the story from Tom Taylor, looking forward to what's next in this annual. Still with DC Comics, we've got Order of the World Arkham City. Um, I have not read number two yet, but I read number one and the creepiness of the Tin Eye Man was enough to get me locked in on this one. So I do need to read number two and three here shortly, but I like the Tin Eye Man. It's creepy as hell. Interested to see where they go with this one next. Next up, we've got Batman 118. Now I continue to fall behind on Batman, but I am collecting all of it. I do need to finish the Fear State run from Tynan, but this starts the new run from Joshua Williamson. He's currently writing Robin, which I'm enjoying that. So I'm gonna be sticking around for his run as well. Looking forward to see what he does with the squad. And then I had to go ahead and pick up that B cover from Francesco Mattina. It's not his best cover, but I just felt the need to have it. So added it to the list. Still with DC Comics from Tom Taylor, we've got Dark Knights of Steel. Now, I wasn't super interested in this one until the, the twist that we got to where Batman and Superman are actually related in this world. I found that part interesting, so it's enough for me to stick in for number two. Plus, I'm really enjoying that art from Yasmin Putri, or Putri, not sure how to say the name, but the art is great. Love the flow, love the feel of it. Looking forward to number two. Next up, still with DC, we've got Wonder Woman Historia. This is one from last week, but the FOMO was real on this one. So many people hyping this one up, saying the art was super great. Um, I was reluctant to pick it up because I don't need any more of these big books. Uh, but I might as well get some magazine bags and boards and just let it go because I keep accumulating this size of a book. But I couldn't let go of this one based off the Instagram hype, so I went ahead and grabbed it this week. Moving on to Marvel Comics, we've got Devil's Reign number one. This is continuing Zdarsky's Daredevil story. I know he ended his run with 36, but we're continuing on with this little six uh, shot story. So interested to see what's going on with this one. I was sad to see the end of Zdarsky's run on Daredevil. I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying that art from Chichetto. So looking forward to continuing here with Devil's Reign number one. Moving on to Boom Studios, Basilisk number five. It is back with from Colin Bunn and Jonas Scharf. I've been interested in this story about this Reagan character breaking away from her like-minded kind of super-powered friends and kind of going up against them to try and get some retribution, vengeance for this woman. I'm enjoying this story. It's one of those Colin Bunn books that I've actually been able to follow easily. So definitely excited to have it back and jump back in for number five. And has been the case for most of these books. I went ahead and grabbed the B cover on this one because I just like having that cover. I really liked it. And then continuing the run of Raphael Albuquerque, one in 25 incentive variants, I went ahead and grabbed number five. I've had all of them so far. I couldn't let that streak go. So here we are back with number five. Moving on to Image Comics, we've got What's the Furthest Place From Here, number two. Now, there was a lot of buzz about the first issue of this one. So it was enough for me to go out and grab it. And I read the first one and I wasn't exactly buzzing on it like everyone else was. But the world is interesting. I am curious about it. So it was enough for me to jump in with number two, but this one might be a make or break. We'll see. Next up, we've got Silver Coin number seven. This one's being written by Rom V. Art Still from Michael Walsh. I thought issues five and six were up issues for this run. That's been kind of down for me. And you've got Rom V on number seven. So I can't imagine that it's gonna come down Again, he's a great writer. Really looking forward to reading this one. Loved having it back. And I like this cover from Michael Walsh. So excited to add this one to my collection. Still with Image Comics, we've got Two Moons number seven, continuing the story of a Native American who can see demons trying to find his way in the Civil War era. I like the history to it. I like the art on it. So I'm sticking with it for number seven. 
Next up from Blue Juice Comics, my number one pick of the week. Everybody's been sleeping on this one, but I love this book. Billy the Kid, number three. Great art, great dialogue from Justin Gray. Cannot say enough good things about this one. Really excited to jump back in for number three. I recently shared on Instagram uh, a variant cover of number one from In Hayek Lee that I picked up from Line Breakers. Love that cover. Definitely going to be sending that one to CGC eventually. But Billy the Kid, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. It's a story about a bunny who lost his family to a tornado god. Now he's grown up, trained in fighting and trying to get some vengeance on that tornado god. I love the story, love the art from Barry McLean Jr. And I really love the dialogue that Justin Gray is putting down, not for kids dialogue. So if you haven't heard of it, if you haven't checked it out, definitely find Billy the Kid. Excited to jump back in for number three this week. Moving on to AWA Upshot, we've got the Crimson Cage number one. Now this one was not on my radar, but as always on Wednesday morning, I check out Robbie over at Pop Culture Philosophers, see what he's got going down. And he put this one as his pick of the week. So it was enough for me to give it a try. It's based in this wrestling world. And while I've been into wrestling in the past, I'm not so much into it now. I am still very much interested in the behind the scenes stories of wrestling. So I might get a little bit of that in this. Looking forward to checking it out. All right, and last but not least, we've got another one from last week. From This one from Ablaze. We've got Animal Castle number one. The buzz on comic book YouTube and comic book Instagram was legitimate for this book. Everybody, without fail, without exception, hyping this one up, saying it's a great rendition of a classic Animal Farm story. Um, I like the, the theme of Animal Farm. It's my kind of theme, so I'm definitely locked in on this one. But I missed out on it last week. It was not on my radar until I, I got the FOMO from the rest of y'all. So when I went in this week and saw that they still had it, was super excited that I still have a chance to get in on it. So I went ahead and bought that A cover as well as the B cover. And since the hype was so legitimate for this one and my store had multiple copies, I went ahead and picked up two more copies. So I got three copies of the A and one of the B. I know Key Collector already has this one as a $20 book, so I couldn't pass up that cover price by. Uh, excited to add this one to my collection and excited to jump in on this one. I hope it's as good as they say. All right, let me know down below what was your read of the week? What was your cover of the week? For me, read of the week, you already know Billy the Kid number three from Blue Juice Comics, Justin Gray with the writing, Barry McLean Jr. with the art. Really excited to jump back in on that one. And as far as cover of the week, I'm going to go with that Raphael Albuquerque 1 in 25 cover of Basilisk. There was a lot of better covers out there this week, but in terms of the ones that I was able to get, uh, that's what I'm going to go with. But you probably have a better read of the week, better cover of the week. Jump down below. Let me know what you got. What was? What are you looking forward to this week? As always, I appreciate y'all coming through. I really cannot believe that I actually achieved the hashtag road to 250. We are at 250 to subscribers so we did it comic book fam we hit that 250 that means that i get to give away avengers 267 and 269 two great king covers that i've been talking about giving away for some time now it's actually finally time to do that so i'll be putting that giveaway together soon i plan to probably do it as a live show so look for a notification on that here soon uh, but that's all i got for you this time until next time peace comic book fam